Good evening. We are now in the final countdown to a historic moment, the solar eclipse. People are preparing to watch the once in a generation event from small towns to big cities. Millions across North America are in the path of totality. Hundreds of schools are closed, some communities bracing for an influx of visitors as sky gazers seek the best views. CTV's Kamal Kramali is in Niagara Falls, where the event is now clouded by controversy over a state of emergency. There's something in the air here at Niagara Falls. The thought of an eclipse with this beautiful backdrop has some falling in love. I love you too, otherwise we wouldn't be here all over again. So we're renewing the vows when the eclipse happens, just privately, not any officiano or anything, just that's, us. That's so romantic. Whose idea was it? That was his. The Bojums driving in from New Jersey, booking a hotel room months in advance. Coming from the United States, your prices are s s somewhat higher than we're used to. Now every room is booked. It was one of the last rooms that we could find around here. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel lucky? Uh, yeah, yes. Others instead plan on driving down from Toronto tomorrow. Are you nervous about the travel? Uh, a little bit. But for some, the eclipse was overshadowed by a proactive state of emergency declared by the Niagara Regional Chair in response to the expected crowds. Now a legal challenge, a charity claims that was unlawful and filed a notice of application for judicial review, claiming with this precedent set, there would be nothing to prevent municipalities from declaring an emergency on every New Year's Eve, every major film and music festival. Your civil liberties can be harmed when uh, when emergencies are declared that are not real emergencies. The regional chair, though, says it's a cautionary measure. We think of things such as a major traffic accident we hope won't happen or an infrastructure failure. Have you used any of those additional tools that come with declaring a state of emergency? We have not uh, officially called on that. While Niagara Regional Police are independently calling on some outside help. We have support from the Ontario Provincial Police and up into the federal level. Uh, RCMP is going to help us. The Niagara Regional Chair adds he will not be going to the federal or provincial government for reimbursement if the region ends up spending more money than budgeted on tomorrow's eclipse, but hoping everything goes off without a hitch. Kamel Karamali, CTV News, Niagara Falls.